So let's start with creating the project. I'm going to use vit for this one. So I'm going to run um, npm init vit. I'm going to call it spelled routing. And I'm going to use let's see a svelte project with TypeScript. See this felt routing and npm install. While waiting for npm to install, let's discuss a bit on our plan for this. So first of all, I think we can start with creating a client-side routing library, just mainly client-side uh, with configurations. Uh, no file-based routing yet. We don't look at the file system yet. So we're going to come up with maybe a schema on how we can define the routes on the client side. And then based on the URL, you display which component, right? So maybe probably the configurations will have the routes and then the component. And we're going to show whichever component based on the current URL. So then we probably will have to figure out when we navigate the route, when we click on the link tag, sorry, anchor tag, create a link or when you use maybe some APIs from our routing library, we are going to navigate to a different URL, right? As we navigate to a different URL, we're going to also able to update our application such that we will seeing a new component. If the route matches a new component, we'll see a new component, right? Then with that, in, with that then we probably will be able to move on to the next step, which is to do a file-based routing. Basically, we analyze the file folder structure and then we generate that config. And since we have config, we know how to generate routes, then yeah, so that, that goes in a full circle, right? So I'm gonna first start with easy things first. We're gonna define the routes definition and then matching URL to render the component. So I think by now we have already finished installing. So I'm going to open this folder with my VS code. And let's see. Okay. I am going to uh, npm run dev. Okay, hold on. Let me not do it here. Let's do it in my VS code. All right. So you can always see my terminal from here. npm run dev. Let's open up this. Let me try to open it side by side. Okay, so let me see. We have our application dots felt over here. I think the font font size is big enough. You can see it clearly on the left and the right. Our server is running. So basically, when we change something, uh, hot module reloading. Okay, that's great. We have our project set up. Now I'm gonna. See, let me shot this even smaller. We are going to define our routes definition. So here, um, let's see, let me, let me delete any unnecessary files from here. Sorry to jump in, but I got an important thing to tell you, which is that if you're following along, coding along with me, the code for all this is on the GitHub repo. Link in the description, just follow along. If you miss any steps, each changes are in individual commits. So you can just check out that commit and take a look at what you are missing. Now follow along. Um, let's delete everything from the home as well. Let's see, let's delete all this. Let's even, like, let's delete everything. Okay, here, here, gone. Save, nothing here. And I'm gonna create a folder called lib with a file called routing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call it routing index.ts. Right, so this is our routing library. And so this is something we're going to work on. And over here, I'm going to create a few, a folder called routes. I'm going to have a few components. So this is just so that I know that I am at which component. So here I'm going to have a H1, say A, save this, uh, gonna duplicate a few times. I'm going to have B, so this is B, C, this is C. 
And now, okay, in my app, we are going to import something from the routing, right? So here, what we're gonna export, let me think, what we're gonna export is gonna be, let's do this for now, let's, it's gonna be a function, routing. So we're gonna import routing from lib routing. And I'm gonna define routes with this routing library like this. Okay, now I, I think I, sorry. I was trying to think about how, how this, uh, what should this returns and how we should render certain things. Um, and I'm thinking that we don't even need, we, we should, don't have to import this from a app.svelte component. I'm going to import this, this whole thing. Let's remove. This is our entry file, main.ts. going to import this routing. Hold on, let me revert a bit. Gonna import all this routing. I'm going to pass in some configuration. And maybe you got dot um, starts with a targets, which is this one. So I'm defining our APIs on the fly. Uh, now I think this does not make sense to call this anymore. I'm gonna create routing. Uh, let's just create routing. So I have a create routing uh, function from routing where I can pass in my routes configuration and return something. So this will be my applic uh, route application. And I am going to call dot start with this. Do I need to? Okay, I think how about just do it like this much easier. Routes over here and then targets like this. Right, so um, yeah, if, if you are confused about what we are doing here, don't worry. We, I'm just like trying to come up with a um, API on the fly. So here we're gonna, this is what we're gonna implement. We don't need app.svelte anymore. This is what I'm gonna implement. We're gonna implement a function called create routing that takes in a routes, which is a routes definition, and then a target where to uh, render those routings to. Right, so if you remember just now when we have our app, uh, when we import app.svelte, we want to mount it to a target, right? And when we mount, we mount it to this element with the ID called app. In this case, we are gonna have our routing to have the target at here. So of course, now TypeScript complains because routing does not take in any argument. So we're gonna supply that. We're gonna have uh, routes as routes array. And target is a HTML element. And what is routes interface? Routes, this is what we're gonna define, All right? No complaints. So I'm thinking here in the routes, we can define something like, uh, let's say URL is um, a, then I'm gonna show a component, which is the A component, right? So here I'm gonna import a from a dot sorry it should be a routes a dot svelte yep um b and c right this is a b this is c so i think okay how about in the home page i think we should see a but then with uh, maybe B page, we're gonna see the component B and C page, we're gonna see component C. So this is our routes definition. And we're just gonna make sh this work. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna implement the create routing that has all this and then F S and the goal here right now, our short term goal is that if we visit A, uh, if you visit the homepage, you'll see A. If you visit B, oops. If you visit B, you'll see B. And if you visit C, you'll see C. 
right? So here in our route uh, interface here, of course, we can define this as a URL of a string and a component, which is a spelled component. So here, how, how do we do that? So of course, we uh, destructure this routes and targets in our parameter. And let's see. We can, first of all, try to match the current URL, right? So, uh, const URL equals to current uh, location. I'll say window location dot, whoops, location dot UR, URL, right? Oh no, href. And let's see what is that. I'm not confident at all. Let's, let's, let's see our console. What is the current location? Oh, this is a full URL. So I think what we need is a path name. Right, this gives us B. This gives us B and we can compare this B, we should get B, right? So um, I think now, it reminds, now we can um, go through the routes, right? Routes for each. A, I'm gonna find the routes, right? So routes equals so the I'm gonna call this match route equals routes dot for each I oh know I'm gonna just do a find where the routes where the routes dot URL equals to path name. So we're gonna find the first URL that matches the path name, then it gives us the match route, and if we have match route, then we're gonna do something. If we do not have, then Maybe you should render a 404. Let's create a 404 component, just like a fallback dots. Not found. Not felt. Uh, not. Not found. 404 not found. So if you match a route, then um, the component will be the. So, the, so we have the match component equals to the match route. If we have it, then it will be match route uh, component. If we don't have it, we follow back. So this is the optional chaining. So if we have, uh, if match route is defined, then we got match route component. If match route is not undefined, then we, this whole expression returns undefined. And this is a knowledge uh, coalescence, meaning uh, if you, if this is undefined, then this whole expression returns the fallback value, which is the 404 component, com uh, not found component. Okay, uh, if, so if this is, so this is slightly different from this one. Uh, this one says that whatever, whenever this is a falsy value, then you return not found. But doing this is say if only this is undefined. So if it's falsy, it still returns whatever it is. Except that when it's undefined, then you returns this not found. Of course, I need to import this component. Imports not found from um, where am I? Okay, here. Not found dot spelt. Not found. Uh, so mesh component is either. So we have mesh component is a component, and now we are going to use it to render. So we're gonna create new. I think I'm just gonna call it uppercase. I think it doesn't matter. Mesh component. Um, and then target is the target. And I think that's it. Let's see. Let's refresh. Okay, we have B. That's right. Okay, let's see. If I have home page, I have A. That's great. And I have C. Then I have C. Okay, if I have something else, then it's not found. Great. <laughs> so. Okay, we have our very basic routing library right now. Now let's go to A and we're gonna add some link. Uh, A. 
I'm gonna create a link. I'm gonna link to the um sorry. Go to B. And href is B. Save this. Let's refresh. Uh back. Okay, we have we have our home page. And when we click on this, it goes to B, which is correct. But this is not a client side routing. If you notice, uh, you can you can pay attention at two places. Up to you. You can pay attention on the console, or you can pay attention at the at the favicon over here, or this refresh button over here. I'm gonna click go to B. You notice it's a it's not a client side routing because it refreshes. This icon refreshes here. It says navigator two, which means the navigation when it happens, it is. It actually sends a new request to get a new HTML. And when it's back, then you use that. Uh, it, it returns the whole page again. And and then, so it returns the whole page again where we run this JavaScript, where we create a new routing again. So the, the old one is, is discarded because it's a previous page. And then a new page, we create a new route. Uh, we call this function again, create routing. And we match the routes and then we render the component on the screen. Um, but that's not what we want. We want the client side routing. We want the routing to happen on the client side. So you're gonna click a link. We we update. Sorry, there's a plane. I'm not sure you hear it. Uh, but I'm gonna wait for a bit. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. Where were we? Yes. So what we want is a client side routing. We want to click our link not navigating, not making a new request, but we change the URL on the screen and we are able to um, update the state or update the screen. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut right here and we're gonna follow up with the next video because it's quite noisy over there. So that's what we're gonna do on the next video.